Hey guys, Budo Jake here with a book review. Today I want to chat about Robert Drysdale's Opening the Closed Guard. This is a book and movie that Robert has been working on for about three years, two or three years now. And um, I didn't know a book was actually going to be made. I know the book, the uh, movie was in the works for quite a while, but the book includes uh, 32 interviews or more, but uh, about 32 different people that he interviewed in Brazil, in the US, and in Japan, all on the origins of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And Robert talks about uh, why he wrote the book, and that is to demystify some of the origins. Um, namely, one of the uh, interviews that Helio Gracie did um, in Brazil, where he claims to have invented Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I'm not going to dive too deep into whether that's true or not. Uh, part of that depends on your point of view of what it means to invent Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, whether that means the techniques or the scoring system. Uh, it's a deep topic and, and I'm just so happy this book was written. You know, a lot of these guys were red belts. Uh, they're in their 70s or 80s. One of the guys has passed away already. And I think it's just, we're so fortunate as all the serious Jiu Jitsu students out there were fortunate that this project was made. You know, it was uh, financed uh, by uh, an investor. And luckily, here we have from the peoples that were there at the, at the beginnings of the birth of, of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, these guys were there and we get to hear their exact words. Now, they don't always agree and maybe some things, uh, you know, memories have tarnished with time. But after reading 32 different interviews, you get to make up your own mind about what's true about the origins, uh, whether the myths are true or what facts are, what facts are facts, you know? And uh, I got a lot out of this book and I think uh, all serious Jiu Jitsu students will. And I could relate a lot with Robert, you know, going through all these interviews. I've done a lot of interviews in, um, in those three countries as well, the US, Japan, and Brazil. And uh, Robert talks in a very personable way. I think you feel this is not a dry read. Uh, you know, I've read some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu history books that, man, they're just so boring. This is not one of those. Robert writes um, intimate details about um, what's going on during the shoot, what he thought about this particular interviewee before he interviewed him, uh, maybe some, some conversations that took place off camera. There's a lot of background information and it's, it's a really fun read. I finished 400 pages in about three nights, so I just couldn't put it down. Um, a couple of the interviews that really struck with me, one of them was um, from the guy who gave me my black belt, Carlos Gracie Jr. He talks about not learning the triangle choke until he was a purple belt. Can you imagine that these days? I mean, most jiu-jitsu guys learn it from white belt. And uh, it just makes me wonder, you know, why is it? that he didn't learn it until Purple Belt. Uh, I've heard that story before. Higan Machado talks about it in his book, The Triangle. He said that he didn't learn it until, I think, the 80s uh, as well. So it makes you wonder, you know, why did, why did the Brazilians not learn the triangle choke from Maeda? Because certainly Maeda would have known it. So was Maeda holding back? Or did Carlos and Elio not learn from Maeda very much? I don't know. It's a lot of, there's a lot of interesting questions that are addressed in this book. Um, one of the things that Carlos Gracie Jr. talks about is that he, uh, that he saw the triangle uh, later on in life um, on some Kosen Judo videotapes uh, where they're doing it. So obviously the, the Japanese guys knew it from, from way back. Uh, just side note, I'm the one that gave him those tapes. And I remember that day very well. He said, I want to study uh, some of those uh, old uh, Japanese tapes and see what they were up to. And so he was surprised to see that they were doing things that were more advanced than what was done in Brazil at that time. Nowadays, I think the roles have reversed. Uh, we see a lot more um, highly developed things going on in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu than ever existed in Judo or Japanese Jiu Jitsu. Um, so, man, I think that whatever your rank, you're going to really like this book. If you're curious at all about the history of Jiu Jitsu, this is a great book. It's not perfect. There's some little, m tiny little things, if I'm gonna to be totally honest, uh, a couple little typos here and there. Um, and one thing that um, in the table of contents kind of struck me, I'm the type of guy that, you know, 
I pay attention to grammar. I used to teach English for a few years in Japan, so little things like this I, I pick up on. But um, the uh, titles, there's none of the Brazilians have titles of professor, which I'm fine with. It's just their names. But for some reason, uh, in the table of contents, a couple of the Japanese instructors have the title sensei. So I just wonder um, why the Brazilians didn't have professor, and a couple of the Japanese didn't have sensei, but not all of them did. So it just seems like an inconsistency there. But that's really just nitpicking. Man, this is an awesome book, and it really makes me excited about the film. Hopefully we get to see that soon. This book is available on budovideos.com. And, um, and again, thank you, Robert, and your crew. I know these things are not easy. Robert talks about all the difficulties there were, and I can definitely sympathize um, going around the country, around the world, doing these interviews and time schedules, and it's a lot of work. So, it's, uh, so I appreciate the investor that made this possible and Robert and his crew that were able to f film and record all this stuff and get all this information down before these red belts are gone forever. We, the serious students, deserve to know the truth, at least what their version of the truth is, and we can up make up our own mind. So I really enjoyed it. I think you guys will too. Opening the Clothes Guard by Robert Drysdale.